Hi everyone, this is Stephanie P with Pretty and Prep. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick self-illustration using Adobe Illustrator. Your phone take a quick selfie. Or maybe you already have a picture that you like. That's the first thing we need. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to take your image and drag it onto Adobe Illustrator. And then this image is pretty big, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the artboard icon just to frame my image. Then I'm going to go to layers onto the right and I, what I like to do is organize my steps so if I make a mistake I can go back and fix it. So as you can see I named the first one image and the second one head. And now what I'm doing is I'm framing my face. Um, you can name it whatever you want. You can name it one, two, three or ABC. I just like to be specific. Then I clicked off and clicked on the image to show the frame. And as you can see, uh, if I'm moving too fast, you can always stop it and rewind it. So it's so great about videos. And you're going to see throughout this video that I'm going to be clicking on that right panel where the layers are to add more layers and continue organizing my um, illustration. That way, if, like I said before, if you make a mistake, I can go back and delete it. Something that comes in very handy is that on and off tool, as you can see, I can take the image off just to see my outline so I can see what I'm working with so far. As you can see, I'm working in the eye layer and what I do is that I go to the menu bar on the top and click select and then I press, I click deselect. That way I can deselect one eye, my right eye and go to my left eye without switching layers. Those of you who know me know that I am really big on eyebrows, so even when it comes to illustration, I'm very picky with that. So I took a, a little while with the eyebrow part. As you can see, I did try different things. I actually introduced the paintbrush tool, which I haven't done so far in the video, and I use the ink uh, tool instead of the regular calligraphy um, tool. And that way it looks a little more artsy or I don't know. I think it looks kind of funny now, but trust me, as you move along, when you're working on the illustration in general, it's going to look funny, especially if you're working on your own face. Um, if you want, you can even draw yourself a mustache, I don't know, but wait till the end, it's going to look pretty cool. thing I always found hard was working on teeth because sometimes it can come off looking a little creepy or separated or I don't know it's just pretty hard so usually when I do illustrations uh, if I do a self portrait I'm usually smiling with my mouth closed that way I only have to do lips that's just a little trick I guess if you don't want to work on the teeth but this time I just decided you know what but hey I'm just gonna do it and um, what I do is that I use a black out stroke and um, I just outlined it for now just to have it there and then I worked on a different layer which are my lips which are the easiest things to uh, to trace if you guys are having any issues following along just write to me on YouTube and I'll help you out As you can see, I named one of my layers details just to, you know, draw any lines that I have on my face, you know, the smile lines, um, the crease on my eye. And what I'm using there is also the paintbrush tool. And remember, you don't have to use the same exact tools that I use. You can always change it up. They have tons of different options. So just play around with it. This has to be the funniest part in my opinion, just change the colors and it looks like I'm wearing a mask. So you will have a lot of fun doing this. Um, as you can see, it looks nothing like me right now, but hang on there. Trust me, it's going to look really, really nice and cool. Um, keep watching.
working so far. Let me zoom in. This is what I was saying before about working layers. I can actually go back now and work on my eyes and change the colors of my pupils, um, and just change it around just because I had my layers and I set them up in the beginning. It's really useful, trust me. I don't know why I didn't mention it earlier, but you guys should always remember if you make a mistake, you can just click Command Z together, um, or you can go to Edit on the menu bar and press Undo. It's a lifesaver, trust me. work on the hair. The hair is my favorite part. Um, you don't have to make it look natural. I'm not making it look natural. It's an illustration. It doesn't have to be super realistic. Um, See, so yeah, I'm using the pencil. I'm just clicking around wherever I want. My hair is kind of curly and so I'm just trying to follow the texture of the waves. As I was working on my illustration, I totally forgot that I didn't include the back piece of my hair, so I actually added that in and I put that in a lower layer, that way that the, the back piece of my hair is actually behind the shirt layer and the body layer and the neck layer. Um, yes, that's what I did. Wait, there's no neck layer. I mean, I meant to say body layer, you know what I mean. So as you can see here, I'm adding lines and different strokes to my hair just to create some texture and you can do that um, using the paintbrush tool. Of like me you can actually use this to figure out what hair color you want to dye your hair next if you want it pink if you want it like a wineish red color you can you know play around with this And just to let you guys know, I'm not a 
Pro in Adobe Illustrator. I did go to school, well I am in school, I'm a graphic designer and I am learning little things as I go. So if I were you, I would definitely explore and, and don't give up, try different things and you'll get it. So this part right here, I'm working a little faster because it's just the background, super easy. I'm just playing around with different colors and different effects and gradients. Um, and you can choose whichever one. I was gonna go for the pink, then I decided, you know what, let's try this gray color. As you can see right here, even though I don't really like working with gradients. But for this sake, I'm just showing you different options that, you know, different things that you can do. Your final step is to select File, Export, uses artboards, which you can check there, you're done.